He is, according to his webpage, a mathematician at the Center for High Assurance Computer Systems, CHACS, at the Naval Research Laboratory. He, ha right. he has a Navy.mil address. Hi, Paul. Great to see you. Welcome. Good to see you again. And the name, of course, is Legend because uh, Paul, uh, some years ago, almost tw more than 20 years ago now, uh, was part one of the people who created the Onion Protocol, which is used, of course, in the Onion Router and uh, Tor. And, uh, of course, Tor is very much in the news these days as a way to use the Internet privately. And, uh, and so it's really great to have you back, Paul, on, uh, on Triangulation today. Do, are you in the military or do you work for them? I don't no, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a civilian employee. Okay. Uh, uh, mo most of the people at the lab are uh, civilian employees. So I'm, and, I'm and just a civilian. It's okay to call it Chax? Uh, sure. Yeah, I think so. Is that how they, is that how they say it? <laughs> um, it, just some people say Chax, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is the what is the purpose of Chax, and why does the Naval Research Laboratory have a center for high assurance computer systems? Oh, uh, well, I, I should say I'm not a, a spokesperson for the Naval Research Laboratory per se, or or Chax in particular. Um, but you worked uh, there 20 years, so you probably I have worked there 20 years. <laughs> uh, I guess I just uh, know something about it. You know, I, but I but well, yeah, but um, this is not know, official. What we're right, about to hear is not official. Well, yeah, but uh, it, it's good if I'm not saying uh, unofficial things, right? I'm, right? I should talk about my own work and my own research, and uh, um, you know, I don't want to, uh, uh, especially because I'm I'm not an expert on the on the uh, structure. I mean, I have, of course, some knowledge uh, of the of the laboratory or you know what's. Right. Uh, the proper well, what do you do thing. there? But, so, How about that? Wait, well, can, so I do. Okay, but I mean, uh, I, I could. Uh, Chax is is a uh, is uh, a uh, a branch at the Naval Research Laboratory that's devoted to, um, as it says, high assurance computing systems. So there's. Um, uh, uh, this is on the public web page, so I can say that there's uh, um, a bunch of different sections. I'll, I'm, I'm going to skip one if I try to do it off the top of my head, but there's, you know, communication security and network security, and uh, I'm in the formal methods section, uh, and there's computer security and software engineering, uh, mobile security. Oh, and there's uh, a recent uh, addition is uh, informatic phenomena. Ooh. So, yeah. I don't know what uh, that is, but that sounds cool, too. And so, the, of course, it makes sense that the Department of the Navy wants to be able to operate securely. Um, sure. And that's been the case, I'm sure, since the Navy was formed 200 years ago. But it also has become a bigger mission because um, cybersecurity is now a national security issue. It is more than just operational security. It's, it's a defensive thing to be doing, too. Do you get involved in that at all? Uh, well, uh, I mean, I not sure exactly what you're um cyber warfare asking Paul. there but yeah I'm asking so about uh, cyber warfare i see okay well i don't uh, yeah that's a um i don't specifically uh um have okay. any um uh, involvement with uh um you know that cyber warfare as a specific thing that's uh i my my research is um largely about um big big surprise um what's typically called anonymous communication, although I think that can be something of a misnomer. Yeah. But uh, yeah. that, that's that been the primary uh, part of my, my uh, research and my publications and uh, designs uh, and developments. Uh, before that, and to some extent during, uh, I've worked on uh, formal analysis of security protocols and uh, some uh, mathematical characterizations of uh, a multi-level secure system. So how do you characterize information flow through a system uh, when you have different levels that are all uh, connected? So you've got something that's maybe top secret and uh, something that's secret and something that's, you know, unclassified. And, and it, how can you make sure that uh, there's no accidental leaks, things like that. And I've uh, uh, published some uh, quite abstract uh, papers in, in which we actually came up with some uh, epistemic logics, logics for reasoning about knowledge that we then mapped onto um, 
uh, probabilistic characterizations of that security. Um, so you're sorry, in, I you're, probably just lost a lot of people. No, I love it. You're, this is deep stuff. In fact, uh, I love the joke, and I assume it is a joke on your webpage. You have a book called Logic, Convention, and Common Knowledge, a conventionalist account of logic. Yes, that's a book I wrote. Lecture notes. And uh, you say, I think humorously, that the book has been against the uh, advice of Neil Stevenson option for movies. Yeah, so actually, <laughs> yeah, there was a joke there. I mean, I, I, I couldn't option it for anything because uh, I did this as, you know, as a government work. Right, and there's right. no, I don't own any rights. But uh, um, yeah, I was, uh, I'll just say I was at I was someplace with... Um, uh, some people, including uh, Neil Stevenson and one of my uh, friends, okay, Nick Nick Matthewson, one of the other creators of Tor, right. was uh, he was jokingly talking about uh, um, buying the movie rights for this book, and uh, <laughs> so we thought, well, who, you know, we don't know anything about, you know, how much should you give me or anything, and then uh, and then we realized Neil Stevenson was there. So we went over and we asked him, <laughs> what, what, you know, how, how, much, ask for? How, how much should I ask here? <laughs> and and he said, I forget what his initial response was, but then uh, uh, I, I said, well, we were thinking about $5. <laughs> fair, and, uh, fair, fair, fair and, price. <laughs> and he said, oh, well, you better have a, a, you know, a very cheap agent, I think, or something like that. Well, he's going to take 50 exactly. cents right off the top. <laughs> right. So I think, I think in the end uh, we decided that uh, we, we were uh, at a, later at a research conference or something and uh he he bought me a beer and i nice. uh, i i gave him the i said i said okay you have the rights but uh yeah it was all just uh, <laughs> so that's good neil stevenson might, so, so, might use those in some uh, fashion or form he, right yeah he's very interested uh, in crypto i mean I, I know for cryptonomicon he did a lot of research uh, on crypto and from from what i've been told the crypto and is is uh, quite credible right yeah he he consulted with uh with some people um, who who definitely know their stuff in the yeah. crypto realm? Like Bruce Schneier uh, worked on the the plain was, card algorithm that he comes up. He with. was he was part of it. I think uh, yeah. Ian Goldberg as well, yeah. uh, if I'm not mistaken.